Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at a common stream processing workflow. That is removing duplicate data points from a stream of data. Now this is a very common workflow when it comes to working with data streams. And that's because often when you're ingesting data from a sensor or another application, you're dealing with very, very large data volumes. For example, a sensor may be logging the uh, temperature or the location of something every second, but you might not be interested in recording the data at that level of granularity. You might only want to record the, the data every minute. So with batch processing, it's easy to remove duplicates. You read all of the data you're interested in looking at into memory, and then you identify the duplicates by either looking at a key or looking at similarities bet between the footprint of the features. You cannot do this with a stream workflow though, because obviously with a stream, you can't read all of the data into memory. It's never ending. So what you have to do is simulate a grouping using a window of time. This is called windowing. So for example, what you would do is if a fleet of your vehicles will log in their location every second, but you only wanted to store the last known location of the vehicle every minute to the database, you would simulate a grouping of one minute and then within that one minute period, you would look for duplicates for the same vehicle and you would get the last known location of the vehicle within that window of time. You would then store the results of that to a database, dramatically reducing the data volumes that you have to store, obviously. So let's have a look at, in a little bit more details uh, of the demo we're about to show you. We're going to read the location of 50,000 vehicles that report their location every five seconds. We're going to group the data into one minute time windows for analysis. And then for each window, we're going to get the last location of each vehicle. We're then going to store that location into a cloud data warehouse. So you can see here, this is kind of an overview of it in the image below. We're reading in this raw stream, we're windowing the data, and then we're removing the duplicates. Okay, let's look at a demo now. Here we are in FME Workbench. So we've got the stream that's actually running here, consuming data from a Kafka endpoint. So the first thing is we need to connect to the Kafka endpoint and read the data in. So this data is actually um, on Confluent Cloud. We're connecting to the Kafka endpoint. It's encrypted, we're using credentials here. And the key thing here is we're in stream mode here. What that means in comparison to batch mode is we're not pulling off a certain number of features off the Kafka queue. We're actually connected to the topic and we're streaming every feature that comes into the topic on Kafka. FME will instantly pick that up and ingest that and then we can start um, acting and uh, analyzing the data. So next we flatten the data using a JSON flatener so we can actually look at the attributes. Then we're converting the timestamp on the, on the feature into a usable timestamp that FME can recognize. And we use that timestamp in the time window. And the time window is really the key transformer here. What it's doing is it's assigning a window ID to the incoming feature uh, based upon a period of time. So each, each minute, a new window ID is created. What that means is, for example, the first features that come in um, in the first minute, they're given one ID, and then after the minute, uh, those features are released, and the next minute period, the features that enter the transformer are given a new window ID. And what this window ID enables us to do is it enables to group that data, um, and then we can start analyzing and acting on the data. So in this situation here, what we're doing is we're sorting the data uh, by the vehicle ID or the path ID and the timestamp, and then we're, we're also key, crucial here, we're grouping by window ID. And a key thing to look for here is we're grouping, the group by mode is process when the group changes. That's as opposed to a blocking group by. And what that means is whenever the window ID changes, the features will be flushed through and move further downstream. So we now have uh, all of the vehicles in each window sorted um, by their ID and the timestamp. What we can simply do then is we can sample um, all features within the window and a, with a particular vehicle ID, get the last feature. So basically get the feature with the latest timestamp, as in get the latest location of the feature, 
and then we'll store that out to the database. So you can see here, it's a very, very simple workflow uh, to connect to that Kafka endpoint and dramatically reduce data volumes and duplication on that streaming data. You can also publish this workflow up to FME Server, and there you can register that with uh, the FME Server stream, stream service, and that enables you to run uh, this workspace continuously in a fault-tolerant way.